Hi everyone, this is Lizbeth Stell Cottage Caboodle. Got on a little bit earlier than I had intended. I apologize for keeping you waiting. Um, I hope that you are having a wonderful Tuesday. There we go. We've got to get everything set up. So I am um, trying to figure this out. So I got a little bit dinged, not bad. Um, by our friends here on this platform because, hold on, let me do this. Hold on, sorry about this. Um, always when I have to do something a little bit different, it ends up, where did it go? Hold on, hold please, hold please. Um, maybe I don't get to do it this way. Maybe I don't. Where where could it be, the group? The Caboodle Doodles group. Caboodle Doodles, doodly do. Oh, Stinkeroonio, hold on, hold please, hold please. Maybe I haven't joined with my page. Well, no. Nope. Yeah, it's not letting me. Dollarama. Let's see. Nope, it's not gonna let me. Well, um, here is the deal. Hi, Diane. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, hello. Sorry about that. Um, it is it is a crazy thing you guys it is a crazy crazy thing um i want to share this over into caboodle doodles and i can't um the the good old friends here on the fb <laughs> they ding me um when i share from my business page so i thought well i'll share from my personal page i can't do that either so if you are so inclined to sh and you're you're over on the Caboodle Doodles page. If you would be so kind as to hit the share button and share it over to the group Caboodle Doodles, I would be so thankful until we get this straightened out. Um, you know, um, I got the big old red warning about not sharing things that weren't my content. Well, this is my content, so I don't get it, but you know, what do I know? What do I know? So we'll find a way around it. We'll find a way around it. So um, I hope, thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. From Michigan, local tomatoes, corn, green beans. Oh my goodness, hot dogs on the grill with corn. You know, is there anything better than fresh corn? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I like a fresh tomato. I like fresh green beans. I like the fresh, I like it all. I like all those vegetables. So um, Shane is out of town in San Diego and um, I am just living it up with um, Asian chicken salad with cabbage and um, just all kinds of things and um, love the vegetables. He likes vegetables too, but I could take or leave meat. And so I've been having, um, I've been having very little meat. So that is really good. So I don't miss, I don't know what the deal is, but I've never been a huge fan. So, okay. Well, people are coming on in. I hate to get started too terribly early. And I have a couple of little surprises too. So when you're coming in, come on in and say hello so I know that you're here. Um, I'm gonna keep my phone here handy. Again, if some of you are members over in the Caboodle Doodles, if you would share this over into the group, I would be so grateful. It's not letting me do it on my personal page and it's getting mad at me if I do it from my business page. So, you know. You can watch me make them. So Lynn, what's happened is I have shown a couple of these ornaments in different ways. And then with Caboodle Doodles, I wanna make sure that you've got a tutorial from beginning to end, because a lot of people have bought the kit. You don't have to buy the kit in order to watch the tutorial though. You can, you can watch me paint whenever 
whenever I'm on here. And Caboodle Doodles is just a silly fun way to say we're doing some fun painting. This isn't something that needs a whole lot of instruction because most of these are going to have the etching on them so that you can just put the colors in there and kind of follow along if you want. If, um, if you do happen to need a line drawing, then I will drop it in here. But um, Caboodle Doodles is intended to just be kind of a, um, a fun thing to do. Hi, Carolyn. Take care of my husband. He's in San Diego for the week. <laughs> it's not on your list. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know. So it's okay. I can share it later. But um, I don't know. I don't get it. There's a lot of changes lately. Oh, it's the cardinal ornament, Lynn. And if you go over to um, lizbestel.com, when that opening page comes up, it says, check out our new supplies or new supplies or all supplies or something like that. There's two buttons. There's one on the top um, for the ornament group that's going to be doing two ornaments a month, that ongoing one. And then right below it is another rectangle. And that is for and you'll see it if you just scroll down a little bit you'll see this on there and all the other ones so yes 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 hello everyone hello thank you thank you thank you I'm sorry that I was a little bit delayed um, the technology hasn't been my friend lately it's just been it's been giving me a little bit of a pushback so that's okay though that's okay well I've got two surprises two surprises so one is um, I've got I'm gonna try to do one of these in a female version so oh wonderful 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 um, hello Janet so I've got a female one that I'm gonna try to do and I know that they're a little bit different but keep in mind that we don't have female cardinals, let alone regular cardinals. Hello, Darlene. Hi, Cheryl. Um, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to do my best from a couple of pictures that I looked at and um, we'll just, we'll make a do for, a do for girl. So um, yes, so that will be fun. That will be fun. So again, hello, Elizabeth. Um, if you are able to share this recording over to the caboodle doodles i would be eternally grateful because it's not letting me do that from my business page or my personal page right now and what are you gonna do if it doesn't get shared over there that's okay but we will and i will do it after the live so no worries there hello ann hello hello i was trying to book a flight today to virginia norfolk Oh, well, we will try. We will try. Well, the other surprise, though, is there is another. Can you hear me? There is another cardinal coming. Not an ornament. Another cardinal right here. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So I'm going to turn the camera down and show you what I have laid out. Remember that this is the cardinal that I did. There was one that was um, plaid. I put some plaid on it. But I just want to go through it one more time from beginning to end so that you can um, take a look. And you can do yours with however you want to do it. But I'm going to be doing a female and a male red one. So, so here we go. I wanted to do this, the male one, with some more modern tones. On Monday, no, on Sunday, I did this set of the snowy ornaments, and I did them in kind of a more modern set, more whimsical, that kind of tone. I'm gonna do the red one in the same kind of a family as this one. Um, your credit card hurts. <laughs> Is it screaming? Hi, Bonnie. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Janet. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. So I'm going to get out some watermelon slice. That's going to be our main or medium tone. Remember, you're going to want a medium, a dark, and a light um, to complement those. So I'm going to be doing my... Aren't they fun? I just... Yeah, I love doing these guys. So I am... I did... Um, 
I did tape these down. Now, when I taped them down, I wanted to make sure that the right side of them was up um, so that these wings fit and kind of nest on each other. Oh, I'm glad that happened. Now, this one, I got a little too much paint on the stitching. Can you see how it's kind of globbing up one of those? If you take that clean edge of your sponge and push down really hard, you can get that little blob of paint out of there. If that doesn't work for you, you can use a little pin or something with a pointy end to get that out. But um, usually I can get it out with the sponge. If Now I wanted to see if I could reuse the same board I used on Sunday and with the tape. And I can, I can, but you do have to be a little more careful, of course, because it's not nearly as sticky as it was. So now with this one, since I'm gonna be using the three colors on the, the body, I'm gonna do this little, this little feather um, for the tail. I'm gonna do it in the deeper, darker color. In this case, I'm gonna use Santa Red. But I do want to do this mid value, this medium value, the base coat color with watermelon slice also. So I'm gonna do this middle sized wing part with watermelon slice. So there we go on that. I know that I've got to do all of the eyes and the parts for the eyes in black. Um, and so thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who are helping out. I appreciate it so much. Hi, Carol. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, these are just so fun. Thank you, Elizabeth. I appreciate you. So we've got... Um, other things to do. Now you could also make this little one um, this bright salmon if you chose. I don't have a good reason for not doing it bright salmon I guess. Um, I guess I just liked the more red tone. But I'm going to put the bright salmon on here and if I am not crazy about just bright salmon when I stack those together I can always do something to kind of tone it down or to make it go a little bit more. Well, hello, Vanessa, back at you, beautiful friend. So don't worry about, you know, if you like it or don't like it at this point, we'll have some time to get it a little bit, a little bit um, ironed out. A little bit ironed out. Now, you guys are challenging me here with this whole... Um, doing a a female cardinal on this little guy so I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna be using almondine which is a new color um, not from this last time but the time before as is portobello um, I want to use this portobello also and I'm gonna do the body first and just keep in mind and go easy on me because, because we don't have cardinals here. My friend Reed is here and she got to see a cardinal um, with me and it was my first time. I don't think it was her first time seeing one. Maybe it was. Um, we were in Ohio though. The cardinals are the ornament kit. If you click on that, it should have, it's it's the picture of the cardinal, and um, it says, I think it says cardinal, cardinal, cardinal kit, cardinal ornament, I'm not positive. Well, that's what I thought, Janet. I thought that the pictures I looked at, it was kind of a taupey color, but then it also showed that her little underbelly was kind of a, um, a more creamy color. So I'm just gonna flip my, my sponge over a little bit and pick up a little bit of that almondine. And what I thought I would do 
is just start at the bottom with that almondine. Get some of that paint on there. I don't, I still don't have a ton of paint. I'm not filling up my little, my little etched marks. We want those to stay. I'm gonna flip my sponge back over and I'm just gonna kind of mess that up to blend it a little bit in that area. And it should, when I do the second coat of the portobello, we should be able to get it um, so that it, it blends enough. But I'm kind, of, I'm kind of excited about that. I think that that's gonna work out pretty well. Um, I do want to put, I wanna put the almondine, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. I think I'm gonna put the almondine on this lightest one. Yeah, for the baubles, there's no kit. The ornament club, um, you can use a four inch ornament of your choice. I put up um, on the, I'm sorry, I misunderstood, I think. Um, I think that it's just a four inch ornament. So that way you could get them at, um, yeah, I do have the cardinals, but the ornament bundle I think is for the ornament club because we have the ornament um, subscription group but that is, the beauty of that one is so that you can get ornaments wherever you'd like. So they're just four inch rounds. You can order them on Amazon. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Um, there should be plenty of places where you can get those. Yes, and yeah, they are on my website. I'm gonna do this portobello on this medium value here. On the medium size wing. I'm gonna give this a second coat, like I said, up from the top and it's kind of, it's blending in there, but I don't wanna, I just wanna get that almondine a little bit, ooh, a little bit blended in. I might have to resort to a brush with this, you guys. And then I'll just keep going, flipping. That should work, hold on. Hold, please. And we're just gonna take this dry brush. This is just dry so that I can see if I've got it blended enough. And I think I do. I think it's okay. But you can just play with that until you get it to a point where you feel like it's blended enough. And once this dries, if I need to, I can go back in and do a little bit of fixing up and that will be fine. Yeah, for the bobbles, the bobble blitz has no kit. It's just four inch rounds. I did do a video in there so that you should be able to see um, what kind of supplies. So if you go into the group, you'll be able to see that on the video. Hello, Lorraine from Hot Hot Montana. It's supposed to get 90 here, which is craziness for us. So, oh, I'm glad you like him, Kathy. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. Yep, and we are gonna get there, Valerie. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Um, I saw that on my little picture. So I'm appreciative for you watching out for me and making sure that I get all the things for these cute little birds. Yeah, and I saw that there are some that have more of the yellows and oranges. So you could use that, or when we put the reds on here, you could also do the reds with those yellows and oranges as well. Um, one of the things that I thought would be really pretty for the yellows would be probably like honey brown or something that was like a wash of honey brown. So. Oh, 110. Oh, yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, yo. Yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not, I'm not a fan, you guys. I'm just telling you, I'm not a fan. So now I'm thinking about what am I gonna do with this guy? And I'm looking at my colors and I'm, oh, 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 I almost forgot. I got Mississippi mud. So let's get a little bit of Mississippi mud. A little bit of Mississippi mud here and see if that will deepen it enough to where it will look like a little bit deeper, darker wing. I think it will, I think it will. And I'm just gonna put this on there for that little lady's 
darkest wing. And I don't need it dark, dark because she remains um, pretty, pretty soft looking. But I think that will be a really pretty transition. I think that will go really well with her. So I'm okay with that. Now, I'm not okay with how this is looking. So when I think about how I'm going to switch this up and how I'm going to make it a little bit better, um, you could use um, Mississippi Mud plus the Almondine and come up with a medium value. I'm going to go back into my Portobello and I just want to make sure that I have Portobello on the top. This is just an ink blender that I'm going to do a little bit of stippling with just to get this blended so that I can have it the way I want it. Then I'm going to get pick up a little bit of that Almondine and I'm not going to get too heavy handed with it. I just want to softly add a little bit to make that transition. And I wasn't able to get that before. So I think this will help me to just softly transition that and that did. So if you have a little um, stencil brush or something that will help you to do that. And you could also use this with a little bit of almondine if you wanted to do the lower edge of the tail. Um, if you wanted to do some of the areas maybe where we'll put a little bit of that um, that rosy glow that the, the little ladies have. Um, just a little bit on the edges. I'm just kind of playing. Just kind of playing. Oh, you guys. The heat index. Cobblestone would be a pretty color, too. You're absolutely right. Cobblestone would be pretty. Um, I'm looking here. Mm. I like the grayish tone that these have. Um, so, you, if you are stuck and you don't have something like cobblestone or driftwood, you could take something like um, a gray and you could just um, use like bleach sand with it or something. Or if you have almondine, you could use that with it. But I like that transition a little bit better with her and I think that's going to work out just fine. I need to give my, my Mississippi mud wing another coat and while I'm here, I might as well double check these. These look pretty good. I think I'm going to make this Mississippi mud on the back feather. That's going to be my tail feather. Oh my goodness. It's definitely there. I'm sorry, Lori. That's no fun. No fun. It was really, we had a little break yesterday. It wasn't too terrible. I think it got to the mid 80s, you know, and for like I said, for us, that's um, plenty, but you know, without air conditioning and all those things, so it's just, yeah, it's just yucky, just yucky. So, I'm gonna take now some Santa Red and put that out. But I thought that if we're going to dry brush a little bit of that color on this little lady, I think that the um, watermelon slice is going to be really nice on there. So I'm just going to take my watermelon slice sponge. I'm looking and I've got a little bit of need for some more on the tail. And I just thought what I would do is use this now for the, the Santa Red. And Santa Red's going to be a little bit deeper, um, but I don't mind if it mixes on here. I don't mind. A friend of mine um, was going to do some tile work in her kitchen and took to the tile um, place, took a bottle of Mississippi mud. She loves that warm brown, gray brown, and so that was fun to see. I also know that somebody, um, I helped <laughs> figure out the colors to paint their house and they took me by a house that they wanted the colors and we matched it to um, a deco art color and it happened to be uniform blue and then took uniform blue to the hardware store and had them mix it and um, turned out really pretty. But 
Okay, so we've got all of that done. Now we've got to put a little bit of color on that beak. And um, I'm going to go, since I'm doing a little bit brighter, I'm going to start with some sunset gold. And while it's wet, I'm going to put a little bit of that bleach sand in there just to kind of blend it a little bit. And um, I'm going to have that black mask on there. So I'm not going to worry too much about if I happen to get the the beak color, you know, onto the mask area because it's going to be covered. But I didn't put a lot of paint on my brush. I'd rather go over it a couple of times. And I want to get this feather out of the way. There we go. And then I'm going to do this one. And I'll let that dry. I've got a the ceiling fan and an, another fan on in here. And um, so, and the window is open. So um, it's nice because where my studio is, um, there's a huge, our house was built in 1917 and we're fairly certain that the grape arbor was planted with when the house was built because it has the same footings, the river stone footings for a craftsman house. Um, and it's three footings. It's about, it's probably close to 20 feet long and 12 feet or so deep. And so in the afternoon that gets shady and it gets cooler. And so having the window open is kind of nice. Okay, so we've got that on there. And I want to give them another coat before I put the white on there. So that's looking cute, 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 cute. And now I need a little bit of lamp black just to get the eyes and the little mask taken care of. So I'm putting out the lamp black. You could also use, um, you could also use, you know, if you wanted like a zinc or something for, for the female, if you wanted it softer. I decided I wanted them to match. Um, but we'll see. I may want to put a little bit of the portobello on the mask of the female just to lighten it. I, in the pictures I saw of these taupe colored ones, um, their masks were still there. They were just a little less vibrant and they were a little more, they were smaller. But ours were kind of stuck with what we've got. So, and I'd heard you when you said you wanted to have a female version. So that's why I'm doing the female version too. So there we go. And I'm going to just for fun, try it. I'm gonna get a little more, I'm out of my portobello. I'm gonna get a little more portobello here um, so that I can take on my black sponge. Um, I wanna get those really good and coated though first. Make sure. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of portobello on this black sponge and tap it off to the side and see if I like this. And I think I will. So if I wanted to make her mask a little more muted, um, hi Colleen. I could take just that little mix that I had on my sponge and um, with a little bit of that portobello added in and I think that that will mute it enough um, you know you could I could have used that same color for the base wing as well as the deeper darker um, the deeper darker feather and I think I'm going to do that actually so this is just a brush mix of a little bit of lamp black and that um, portobello and it just gives it a little closer mix of that darker portobello color to give that kind of pretty taupe color. Yeah, I do like that better. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty. So, and I know that this is whimsical, so it's not going to be a big deal. So, but you could definitely make the choice if you wanted to, um, to do it either, either way. But I think I like that on there. A 
little bit more. I don't know. It could have gone either way um, for sure. So I could even take and put a little bit more. Let's see if I like it. Just a little bit more of that portobello. On there so it's not quite as dark. I might like that better. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Okay. Um, I think that it'll be okay once it's stacked, but I'm going to check. I could lighten that up too, couldn't I? So let's grab the rest of that portobello. And when you're, you know, color mixing a little bit, that's the whole thing is it's going back and forth, adding a little bit at a time so that you can see, you know, if you like it, if it needs to be adjusted, all of those things. But I think that's better. I like that. Okay. So there she is. I think the mask is going to be perfect. I'll take and put a little bit more of that light tone on there. There we go. There we go. There we go. And now I'm going to give another coat to those beaks. Those little beaks. Beaky beakies. Are you buying a one on Amazon Prime Day? Today and tomorrow. I haven't found anything that I couldn't live without yet. But you never know. Yep, on the Red Cardinal, I've got um, Watermelon Slice, Bright Salmon, Santa Red, Lamp Black. I did both Beaks and Sunset Gold. Then I did the top of of the female with portobello the the belly is with almond almondine sorry then we've got almondine portobello and then portobello deepened with a little bit of lamp black and i use that same mix on the female's mask now i'm going to take that dirty brush and i'm just going to tip it into that almondine and i'm going to bounce it on my palette and then I can just add a little squishy to the top part of kind of like a dry brush, just a little bit of a little, little squishy. And if you get it down too far, just take that same brush with the brush mix in it, get a little more of the sunset gold and bring it up from the bottom and just blend it in a little bit. It doesn't have to be real fancy but you don't want it to look like you painted a beak half and half either you want it kind of blendy kind of blendy okay that's a good price on a yeti cup yep and some brushes yeah i love my yeti cups um i have well that's what i've got right here with my iced tea in it I love things, I love ice in my drinks and it keeps them good and icy. The other thing that I think looks nice on these that I didn't do with the first one, see how I put the tail on there and I lined it up with the edge? I kind of like it though. When you put the base of that tail in a little bit so it lines up more with the body and it leaves a little bit of extra tail hanging out. And so I think I'm gonna do that this time. Oh, that's nice. This is the big, the big 35 ounce, I think it is. It's the ginormous -y one, but I'm a water drinker. Yeah, Lori, yep. Everybody has their preferences for sure, for sure. Uh-oh. Did you buy a lot? My goodness. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. Okay. So remember, we're trying to use up my stick fast. So here we go. <laughs> um, I'm going to put on these tail feathers first. 
and so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on here right down the middle. I usually will put it on the piece but because I kind of knew where I was going I didn't. So there's that. I do like that tail. I think that tail is pretty. And then I'll take and put a little bit here. A 26, yeah. I have the um, 20 ounce one for coffee in our trailer. Well, to go coffee if we're going somewhere. And I've got the 30 ounce. We have, I think each have two of those. The 30 ounce ones. <clears throat> so. And I do have I wasn't going to, and for years I poo-pooed Yeti, that brand, and um, then when my husband got one for a birthday gift, and I saw how it was, I had to have one, and so I got one um, for Christmas that year. And I do love it, but I did buy one of their smaller um, little, it's a little cooler, and I like that real well too. Okay, this is Stick Fast, Elizabeth, yes. And I'm using Stick Fast, um, but I also like the um, Quick and Thick. I was explaining um, on um, Sunday that I'm trying to use my Stick Fast because my, my lid is cracked and um, the lid doesn't go on very well anymore, so. I like the tail that way too. I do. Yeah, I like the tail that way. It gives it a little more dimension. Then I'm going to give my wings a little test run here. I like the wings to be, I want to see that color all the way around, but I don't want them to be, um, you know, too centered. So I'm going to try to put that on and get these stacked up. And the good part about this stick fast is one of my pet peeves is I hate it when I get that ooze. You know, the glue comes out over the, you know, the edge. And I don't like that. But because you have to use so little of this, just a couple of little dots, um, you don't really have that issue with it. Um, because you don't use enough of it to have that. So I got those stacked up. They're glued. Now we have to do the red one. And their masks should be, yeah, their masks are stuck. Stuck, stuck. My only com complaint about stick fast is sometimes it sticks too fast. And that's it. You know, I mean, it's not that it's a bad glue because it's not. It's a great glue. But sometimes I want to fuss with it a little bit and you don't have any fuss time with stick fast. So, or very little fussing time. So there we go. I'm gonna let those get set and then I'm gonna put the little eye on each. So these are real quick little guys. Um, it is a lot of fun. We have some highlights to do on the eyes. And, and then we have the, the kind of toning to do on the little female that I want to do yet. So then we get to decide how I want the wings. And I like this little wing um, kind of just extending beyond the back of the body. But this time I'm going to remember to... Where did I put that one? Is it this one? Yes, it must be. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that mixed color on the wing that's gonna tip out. And then I'm gonna take the red, because if I'm gonna have it show from the back, that way I can paint the back whatever color I want and the part of the wing that's hanging off the body is going to be, um, it's going to be the same color, you know, as as the wing itself. So I could still, I could have painted this black or whatever color I wanted, but um, 
that way this will this will at least camouflage that some so I'm gonna test fit it kind of dry fit it where I want it and I like that real well so I'm just gonna carefully kind of tip it up put two dots and put it back down I'm gonna do the same thing over here and since these are gonna be the happy couple I kind of like them to match a little bit tip it up I do like them. I do like them. I do like them. So very fun. Um, they're very, very fun to, to mess with and have um, these cute little guys. I want to take a little bit of Snow White to put in those um, highlights in the eyes and you could use a Posca pen um, if you wanted it's for me it's just as easy to use a brush but you could use a Posca or whatever kind of paint pen you like I'm just gonna get a little liner with um, some white on it and I'm gonna put a line across the bottom and I'm gonna put a little line at the top and then I'm gonna dot at about 11, between 10 and 11 o'clock. So that it just sparks up that eye a little bit. So again, I'm gonna do the little line across the bottom. That didn't make it very round. I'm away from my body here, so it's not, there we go. And then I'm gonna go on to the top And then I'm gonna tip that brush into that Snow White and go between 10 and 11 o'clock. So there's that. So very fun. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. I think that the little, the little female is turning out really pretty good. We're gonna give her a little bit of a blush of color and that will kind of drive home the fact that she is a little cardinal. Um, one of these things about this, um, these ink blenders is I have found that I can use them a little bit faster than a regular um, stencil brush. But this one is really wet because I really tried to get that paint out of there. But we're gonna try it anyway. So. Yes, they are ornaments. They are ornaments. I want to test this. I don't want it wet, though. Yeah, it's going to be wet. Okay, so plan B. Let's take this little ink blender. And I'm going to use the watermelon slice. Because remember, I said at the beginning I was going to use some a little bit more modern colors. And um, so that's what I'm doing. So I just used it as a stencil brush and I wanted to have it a little bit, um, just a little bit soft. I want that soft color. And because usually these little ladies just have a little bit of that red tone here and there. And so we'll put just a little bit up here, almost like blushing a cheek. I want it about that deep. I don't want it too terribly strong. So there she is. You could put a little on her tail. And I noticed that some of them had it on their, their little underbelly a little bit. So you could actually put it wherever, wherever you want. I don't want to get too carried away. Um, just a little hint of that color I think is perfect. So. What do you think? So is this enough red or should I add more? Remember, I am not a cardinal um, expert. I've seen them once in my life. So 
Um, but I think that that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. Um, they're sure cute. I didn't know that there were different sizes of cardinals. Um, it's, I just think they're so fun. So what do you think? Do I have enough red? Do I have enough that of that blush on there? You want more? I think I should have a little more. And when you're doing yours, you can put as much or as little as you want. Um, but I really do like these little ink blenders for stuff like this where you really want it to be soft and pretty. I'll just kind of pull it down in there. Not better. Maybe onto the head a little more. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. Yep. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Oh, I think they're so, so sweet. The ones I saw were in Columbus, Ohio. So, and they were just, they are about the size of our chickadees. And so I understand that they get bigger too, or, you know, you, they're different varieties that are bigger. So put in the other places please and we can tell better about the strength of what you've put on put it in the other places so it needs some on the wing Lori these are on Amazon these are on Amazon so maybe a little bit on the edges like the lower little edge does that work Named him zombie. <laughs> oh, that is very sweet, Janet. Very, very sweet. The bluebird. I love bluebirds. I love bluebirds. We don't have those either. Um, our state bird is the goldfinch. Um, I've never seen a goldfinch. Not once. So, except in books. So, I don't know how they got to be our state bird. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The tummy. Okay. Well, I was kind of wondering that. And, you know, if you're going to put, if you're going to get, you know, a set of these and you wanted to do yours, you can put it wherever you please. Robin said that the females in her area have a little more yellow tint to them and I did see that when I looked up the pictures um, and so you know I'm sure that there's different varieties or just from living in different regions and um, you know they pick up a little bit different color so there we go with that yeah we get we get stellar J's yep you get the goldfinches? <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, I understand that they're on the northeast section of our state. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I've never seen them. And my father-in-law says he's seen them. So I don't know. Under the neck and the beak. I can hear. So just a little bit here and there, I think, is the kind of feeling I'm getting. Oh, you get a lot of them. Yeah. 
Well, Lynn, you guys are neighbors because we call her Barb from Buffalo. Her beak is red orange. So we could put a little bit of that on there. We could even put just a little wash of that on there, couldn't we? And I'm not gonna get too terribly persnickety about it, you know, because she's got stitch lines and stuff, but I can sure get closer for sure, for sure, for sure. So if I mix a little bit of my red with that yellow, it's still transparent enough. So just the watermelon slice with a little bit of that yellow and then I'll go into a little more of the watermelon slice side of things and just put that part in kind of the, the shadier areas. So there she's got a little bit more of that there. Yeah, there's a yellowish tint on the breast of the bird. So, right in here, I'm thinking. Oh, the both of the male and the female. Okay. I wasn't kidding, you guys. I don't, I don't know beans from apple butter when it comes to cardinals. So... Again, seen them once. They're so sweet though, so cute. I do love our little chickadees though. Those are one of my faves. And I love the robins. We have lots of robins usually. So there we go. We got a little more orangey on there. A lot of red on the tail. Okay. And I would just on the tail kind of put it hit and miss so that you're, um, other colors still show but I think that's pretty cute actually pretty cute pretty cute pretty cute oh I bet I bet it is pretty isn't she sweet you don't see the females very often and probably because people are a little bit afraid to do what I was a little bit afraid to do so so we've got that little bit of red on there but like we were saying it's got a little bit of that yellow mixed in too so I am going to grab just a skosh of I think I'm going to try the salted caramel She is sweet. She's so sweet. And I'm taking that red brush and I put a little bit of salted caramel on it. So it is turning it a little bit of a rosy color, which I think is pretty. So let's see how this goes. Just add a little more of that salted caramel color. Kind of gives it a little bit of a yellow in through there. I think ideally if I were you I would maybe attempt this while you um, had it all apart 
<clears throat> now this is a lot softer in person than it is on the camera oddly enough usually it's the opposite and I just want that a little softer so this is just a dampened brush I'm just working that along a little bit and then I'm going to try it this way just a little bit of that yellow coming on to the, the body So it's just kind of a little golden glow. I'm gonna let that dry. I think it needs to be softened. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Oh, that's a good picture. It's almost like there's some green in there, isn't there? And actually, the, the picture that's right below it, the two pictures that are right below it, actually, I was on the same, I think I was on the same page, because the one on the right, about halfway down, that has the almondine kind of belly, that's what I was looking at. But I kind of lost that. But, you know, you can play with this and see if, you know, it, it might be that, you have a preference on it. I know that my preference is this is too bright. So I'm going to just go back with, but this is good to see because I'm going to go back with my almondine. And this is just a dry brush. And I'm just dry brushing over it with a little bit of that almondine just to soften. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do a little bit. I've learned, I think, from it. Okay, so I've got the almondine back on there. And I want that to be a little more soft. So I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of that caramel. And I'm going to pick up some... I still really like the portobello for the color, but I'm gonna just kind of knock that down a little bit. I still want it to look yellow, but I just want it to have a little more, um, I want it to be more subtle. So this is just portobello and a little bit of, oh, there we go, um, and a little bit of sunset gold, so. So now I'll come in with that dry brush and scrub. Better, right? So much better. I'm even going to scrub some of this on that wing. Just on the lower edge, I want to leave kind of a highlight. I can even come back here. Yeah, I like it softened too. And you could add just a just a little titch more, not much, just a little of that rosy. So when you're dry brushing, if you go back to a, you know, like the previous step, it really helps um, because you can soften it then, you know, and I think that that's, that's okay. So I think she's looking pretty good. I think she's looking pretty good. And again, these are kind of cartoon-esque, you know, you don't need to be too terribly concerned about being exactly, exactly, you know, however you want it to look like what you want it to look like. Now, I like the different colors on um, the male. 
I might put some stripes or plaid, or I could even do a little side load um, and see if that would make it look a little more red than coral. So if I took just a skosh of the watermelon slice, side loaded it, and just went on that lower edge, I think that helps on that guy. One other coat. So I'm a soft painter and I like that side load on there. I think that is perfect. Yeah, to the lighter part of the wing. You could do that on this guy too. Just give a little side load here if you wanted more of that kind of blushy color. And just add, you know, if, as long as you go a little bit slowly um, and don't get too harsh too quickly, I don't think you can go wrong. Oh, good. Yay. Good. I am so glad. I am so glad. Not bad for a gal who's never seen many cardinals. <laughs> Another thing that would be cute is to sand the edges, and that's going to just pop everything out more. Um, I don't always sand edges, but it would be cute on these, I think, um, depending on what your style is. But I think that's where I'm going to leave those. And um, they are super cute. They are in on the website. We are not back ordered on these because we just got more of them in and they're ready to go out. Um, but I don't anticipate, well, I don't know. I don't know. We might get some more, but I, I'm not sure. So but these are them and thank you for for putting a little bit of the pressure on to try and do a female i will take pictures and put them up on our caboodle doodles page i'm going to put a ribbon on them i believe what i'm going to do is use the same gray gingham because that would go well with the little female but um i think they are pretty cute i think they're pretty cute Especially if you wanted to, you know, if you had, um, you know, a, a special couple in your your family that you wanted to commemorate or if you lost someone, um, this would be a really nice little tribute to have a female and a male. So, um, yeah, those, those blushing brushes, they're ink blenders and they are on the Amazon store link that I put up and um, they come in a set of four. Now when you go to the link for these brushes, I got the set of, of eight. Yep, that's what I was thinking, Cheryl. That's what I was thinking. Um, it was It, sorry, I got sidetracked and you're in my heart, Cheryl. Um, but those little brushes are, I got two sets of four when I got them since they've added three sets. So it's just a couple dollars more to get 12 instead of eight. And again, these are the ones that they're very, very difficult to get all of the paint out of. So that's why I have one that has a white tip on the handle so that I know that this one was saved to be just for white. So that way, if there's still paint and there's paint, it's hard to get the paint out of these guys. Um, so yeah, it's just a dollar more. It's a dollar more to get four more. And so yeah, it's it's perfect. Oh, Barb, your dinner sounds a lot like Robin Harkless's dinner. <laughs> so noodle salad sounds good. I've been hungry for macaroni salad and I thought about making some while Shane was gone to San Diego. He's not a big fan of 
potato salad or macaroni salad or anything like that. But, oh, <laughs> well, they are, they are super cute and um, I'm glad you liked them. I'm glad you liked them. So I know that I do have some shelf sitters on, I believe they're in the box that I haven't opened in the living room right now. So I will be busting that open sometime. <laughs> It's just things have kind of fallen on my head right now. So I'm trying to get everything done. So <laughs> you'll be right over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much. I'm, I've got to get ready to switch. At 4 o'clock, I'm going to be on for Craft Around the Clock. And I'm going to be working on, I don't know if you saw me last week, I did some um, snowflake stenciling and I'm going to be putting a snowy on the snowflakes so that's what I'm going to be doing I'll be on over there at four o'clock I appreciate you all so much thanks for coming and watching thanks for being a part of it and thank you for supporting me as always you guys are the best I love you all and I hope that you have a wonderful wonderful Tuesday see you soon this is Liz Bestall Cottage Caboodle bye